Praise be Jesus Christ. Yesterday's breaking news was that Pope Francis is asking the bishops of the world to join him in consecrating Russia and Ukraine to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Now, a lot of people might be asking, like, what's the big deal about this consecrating Russia to the Immaculate Heart of Mary? Like, why are we making such a big deal about this? Or why do some Catholics make such a big deal about this? And I think the answer is partly, it's, it's an act of obedience. Like when heaven asks us to do something, we should simply do it. For example, when Noah was commanded to build an ark, he could have easily said, well, it, it doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand why I should build an ark. Or when Abraham was asked to leave everything at an old age and start wandering, he could have said, well, this doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand why I should do this. Or St. Peter, after fishing all night and catching nothing, our Lord Jesus commands him to put out his net for a catch. He could have said, well, I'm not going to do that. That doesn't make sense to me. But he did it. And so too, our Blessed Mother wants Russia consecrated to her Immaculate Heart. Russia, by the way, is on the heart of our Blessed Mother. She has a heart for the people of Russia. And part of the reason for this, this is from a Catholic News Agency article a little while ago. They write, before the revolution of 1917 that overthrew the Russian Empire and led to the creation of the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union, you know, was very much an atheistic, communistic regi regime, spreading their errors, their atheistic ideologies throughout the world and persecuting Christians and persecuting the church throughout the world. So before the revolutions of 1917 that overthrew the Russian Empire and led to the creation of the Soviet Union, Russia was colloquially known as the House of Mary because there were more shrines and churches dedicated to Our Lady than in any other country at the time. Maybe that's why our Blessed Mother is so keen to have the Pope and the bishops consecrate Russia to her Immaculate Heart so that Russia maybe can experience a, a miraculous conversion like St. Paul did. St. Paul wrote in Galatians chapter 1, he said, They only kept hearing that the one who once was persecuting us is now preaching the faith he once tried to destroy. So they glorified God because of me, St. Paul says. And so too Russia, once trying to destroy the faith, might become the country that restores it. Now I want to share with you uh, an alleged prophecy from Medjugorje. Um, this is from uh, Father René Laurenté's book, Is the Virgin Mary Appearing in Medjugorje? I think it was published in 1983, and it was published by the Word Among Us Press. Now, I know Medjugorje is still um, under uh, investigation by the church. The church has given some positive steps, for example, calling Medjugorje an official place of prayer, allowing bishops and priests to lead uh, pilgrimages to Medjugorje and all that. But I do, we do submit to the church's discernment on this matter. But this is the alleged message from the Blessed Virgin Mary. In 1981, she said, Russia is the people where God will be most glorified. The West has advanced civilization, but without God. You think of all of these very unfortunate advances, things that the West has been advancing, they're not of God, not at all. The West has advanced civilization, but without God, as though it were its own creator. You see the West trying to redefine things. And so, yes, we do need to pray for Russia, for the conversion of Russia, so that we can see this reign of peace, this air of peace, the reign of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. So I urge you all, and I continue to urge you, pray the daily rosary. This is one of the key messages from our Blessed Mother in Fatima and so many other places. Viva Cristo Rey.